Hey you guys, it's Erica with Crippin's Poopin' and Scoopin' and uh, welcome back to the video. <laughs> oh goodness gracious. Oh, I'm driving by one of my yards right now. That nice scoop. Oh, oh, the little puppies are so cute. So adorable. I don't often get to see the, um, the dogs that I scoop for, so. <clears throat> I wonder if I could stabilize this. I don't know. Whatever. It is what it is. That house is actually in my neighborhood, so I drive by it all the time, which is pretty cool. But what I want to talk about today is, stupid enough as it sounds, trash bags. I got trash bag problems. So in, pet, in a pet waste removal company, obviously, we have to pick up the waste somehow. And... What I use is I use one of those, uh, I think they're like the contractor dust, dust pans, dust buckets, whatever. I get them from like uh, Home Depot or Lowe's. That's what I use. But what I do is I line them with trash bags because I don't want my dust pan to get dirty. I don't want the poop all, all inside of it because it's gross. So I have been on the hunt for like the perfect trash bag. And I was using some trash bags from Home Depot. I was using those, but those were kind of pricey. So I was like, meh, let me find some other bags. So then I started using trash bags from Sam's Club. And I have went through a couple different ones. I have went through like the black ones that don't have the, the pull string. And so what I do is I just kind of like tear the bag a little bit and tie it around the handle at the base of of the um the dustpan i tried that that's kind of time consuming because all this little stuff you know the little things add up to more time more time time is money in this business so i used that and i was like no i don't like that and then uh my neighbor she was working with with me one time and she suggested using the drawstring ones and then putting the string over top of the handle and then securing the bag around the bucket awesome been using that for a while then I also got to thinking like, oh, we use so much plastic. <sighs> Maybe I should try a biodegradable. I got a phone call, but I don't think it stopped my video, so that's cool. So I wanted to try biodegradable bags. Um, so I was on the hunt for them. The biodegradable bags, are they're expensive. They're really expensive. Um, it, it's, it sounds stupid, but if a bag costs like five cents a piece or 11 cents a piece or 15 cents a piece, it's a lot. Like it really adds up. You don't think that it does, especially when you're going through thousands and thousands of bags per year. Cause I was trying to estimate how many bags I think I'm going through. And I think it was something like, like 10,000 bags or something stupid like that. Really bumpy, sorry. I'm going through a bumper road. Like 10,000 bags, I'm crazy. So, uh, a friend of mine that lives in Canada, she's also a pooper scooper, she uses these biodegradable bags. So, when I went over there, I picked up like a thousand of them. I was like feeling really good. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm doing really good for the environment. These bags are going to be awesome. So, yeah, I bought 3,000 of them. <sighs> they tear so easily. So easily. And that sucks because then I have to double bag them. So essentially like I'm using more bags. But I still have like 2,500 of these bags. So I realized that they can't really be used for spring cleans because here in, in Michigan, like the, the poop, the turds are frozen. So then they're ripping through the bag. So I might be able to use these for like weeklies um, in the summer months when the, the poop isn't nearly, is it nearly as hard? So I'm like, oh, that sucks. So now I'm back to the other bags, which are Sam's Club brand. You can get them at Costco. Um, I pay like 13, you know, $13 and some change for 200 of them. They're white. I, I would prefer to have, um, some black ones. So that way the poop doesn't show through the bag when it's in the back of my truck. But I double bag my stuff anyway, so it's really not that big of a deal. Um, and I think I'm just going to have to stick with those and use those for right now until I can 
find something else eventually. But that's been kind of like my little predicament, <laughs> especially coming into like the spring season. <clears throat> I don't know about you guys. I don't know when your weather starts to warm up, your snow starts to melt, but we're here at the end of February and the snow has melted, but we're going to get some more snow at the end of this week. So it's been really weird. Like we get a, it snows and then we get a thaw. So of course I get a bunch of phone calls because it warms up. So I do a bunch of cleans and the snow is going to fall again and then I'm going to get another rush. So I think I'm going to get two rushes this season. And this person behind me is like really just wants me to drive fast. They're like pretty much in my back seat. Maybe they'll go around me. Maybe they'll rear end me. Who knows? But I'm not going to go 50 and a 40. Sorry, lady. <laughs> Don't want any tickets that cuts into the profit of the business and will make your insurance go up higher. Definitely don't want that. But I don't really know if this video had any point to it. But that's just kind of like what's been on my mind. What I've been thinking about is trash bags. It's funny, the things that go through your mind when you own a... Um, a pet waste removal company. The things that keep you up at night. I was literally up to 1.30 um, in the morning last night thinking about trash bags. And that was keeping me up and I was online just looking up trash bags. <laughs> so crazy. Uh, Alright you guys, I hope you're having a good one. I hope this video was of some value uh, to you. I'll be keeping you posted as, you know, as the season starts to pick up and as I run into other things that pop up in my mind that I think might be worth sharing. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. Give me a thumbs up. Um, I'd really, really appreciate it. I'm really trying to grow this channel. Um, and if you have any tips or suggestions on trash bags or anything that has to do with pet waste removal or even, even just being an entrepreneur in general, psh, drop that thing in the comments. All right, you guys, I appreciate you watching the video. Have a great day. Bye.